Hi, welcome back to CBSC Board Economics. I'm Saddam Hussain here. So we carry on with the Indian economic development. We're discussing in the last video what exactly is environment and what are its functions. Today in this video, we'll discuss uh, another new topic that is uh, carrying capacity of environment how does it lead to environmental crisis you remember we discussed in the last video in the last class or session environment is very important what exactly environment it consists of uh, rivers it consists of mountains it consists of air water everything is environment environment is very important for sustaining sust, uh, for sustaining our lives without air without water we won't be able to survive it includes your biotic abiotic biotic resources includes birds it includes uh, fishes they have life, abiotic. They don't have life, but they help us. It can be water, it can be mountains, rivers, everything above. We discussed it. Functions of environment, we discussed it. Environment helps us. It provides raw materials to us. It assimilates all the wastage we produced and, uh, and two more functions. We discussed it in the last video. Now today in this video, we are talking about Carrying capacity of environment, how does it lead to environmental crisis? What exactly is carrying capacity? That's very important. Carrying capacity, everything has a carrying capacity. You can lift maybe 5 kilos, maybe 10 kilos. If someone puts on you 100 kilos, you'll collapse. The same thing with environment too. That is the carrying capacity. Everyone has some carrying capacity. You can carry certain limits of weight beyond that you collapse same the environment is able to perform its functions without any interruption as long as the demand on these function is within a carrying capacity within a carrying capacity the environment is able to perform its functions without any interruption without any hindrance as long as the demand on these functions is within a carrying capacity. Carrying capacity implies two things. What exactly is a carrying capacity? Resources extraction should remain below the rate of resource regeneration. Suppose if we cut 10 trees, don't forget to plant 20 so that environment sustains. You always have trees. If we don't pollute the atmosphere, you always have fresh air. That is, resource extraction should remain below the rate of resource regeneration. Of course, we can exploit environment for usage, but resource extraction should remain below the rate of resource generation. We should leave for regeneration. That means regeneration should be more than what we extract from the environment. What we take from the environment should be less than what the environment can generate itself, regeneration. Generation of water should remain within the, uh, sorry, generation of waste should remain within the absorption of capacity of the environment. We put too much waste in the environment, then the environment won't be able to take it the environment won't be able to uh, within the absorption absorb it right within the absorption capacity of the environment so if you go on polluting the atmosphere so that is exactly what is happening we are polluting the air we are polluting the waters we are polluting we are polluting the whole atmosphere so that means uh, generation of waste should remain within the absorption capacity of the environment so if you put everything in the environment, 
So all the waste, the environment won't be able to take it. Then it's very dangerous. So if these two conditions are not fulfilled, what are the two conditions? Number one, resource extraction should remain below the rate of resource generation. We should take from the environment less than what the environment can generate itself and we should not throw so much wastage in the environment which the environment cannot absorb. If these two conditions are not fulfilled, then environment fails to perform its vital functions of life sustenance. It won't be able to perform life sustenance and it leads to a situation of environmental crisis. It leads to a big crisis. A situation of environmental crisis. So we won't be able to breathe, we won't be able to have clean drinking water, we won't be able to have uh, I mean, uh, aesthetic uh, mountains, we won't be able to have uh, oceans, it will lead to a lot of problems, it will lead to diseases, it leads to a lot of uh, uh, problems which we won't be able to solve. So now we see this question is carrying capacity, like I told you to take a good example, everyone has a carrying capacity. You can lift maybe 5 kilos, maybe 10 kilos. If someone puts on your head 100 kilos, you will collapse. Same applies to the environment. The carrying capacity of environment, the environment won't be able to carry. So under these two things you have, number one is we should extract from the environment that much where the regeneration should take place in the environment. That regeneration should be much more than extracting from the environment. So we should take or we should cut only that many trees. That means if you're cutting some 10 trees, we should be planting 100 trees. So environment is always there. And the next one is we should not throw so much wastage in the environment which environment won't be able to absorb, which won't be able to take it. So it leads to environmental crisis. You can see here what exactly is the carrying capacity of environment. How does it lead to environmental crisis? The environment is able to perform its functions without any interruption without any hindrance as long as demand on their function is within its carrying capacity. If the demand is within the carrying capacity, carrying capacity implies two things. One, resource extraction should remain below the rate of resource regeneration. Number two, generation of waste should remain within the absorption capacity of the environment. If these two conditions are not fulfilled, then environment fails to perform its vital functions of life, sustenance, and it leads to the situation of environmental crisis. So to sum it up, so again, we see carrying capacity, environmental crisis. Carrying capacity means we should put only that much. That means the demand should be less than the supply in the environment. That means the, we should extract only that much which the environment is able to gen regenerate. Number two, we should put only that much wastage which the environment can absorb. If these two go in the opposite direction, then it leads to environmental crisis. That means if you extract more than what the environment can regenerate, it leads to environmental crisis. And the next one is if we put so much wastage in the environment, which the environment is not able to absorb, it leads to environmental crisis. That's all. We have time for this video. Till we meet next time, it's goodbye from Saddam Hussein. Prepare well for the board exams. Wish you all the best for your exams. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and like all our videos. What were the points we give you in the video? So please jot it down in a notebook and memorize. That will really help you. Whenever you are watching the video, watch it with the help of earphones. That will give you a clear understanding of the subject without any outside distractions. Thank you guys.